as you can see, I've done a little bit of fall decorating here in the living room. And this year I'm going very minimal. This is really the only space I'm going to decorate this year in the living room anyway. And I thought it was done, but I really want to add something else maybe here in the middle. And I was thinking, I saw a wreath last week at the thrift store. And I want to go and see if it's still there. So let's do a little thrift store trip and I'll meet you back here. We'll do a little haul if I find anything. guys I think we did pretty good at the thrift store today we're gonna do a little haul I had this on the tripod but Axel kept freaking out so I have to do this uh, handheld which is fine he's chill now so anyway okay I got first I did get the wreath that I was looking for let me show you guys that so it's kind of like twiggy and a little bit wild I think it's gonna look good over there let's take it over and, and see please ignore all the toys uh, and the gigantic mess on the floor. Puppy life, ow. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I think that's gonna work. But anyway, I'm gonna leave that here for now and we'll come back to that in a minute. Okay guys, let's look at all the other things I got. Not too many things really, but I got this nice little basket. It has a boho vibe. It's a pretty good size for 50 cents. Uh, I had to get that. And I don't know if this company is still around, but whenever I was a little kid, people would have these parties and sell home decor and it was home interiors and I thought this looked like their stuff and it turns out it actually is from them so they're kind of worse for the wear but I think I'm gonna either sand these down or paint them I have an idea for these but it may not work we'll we'll look at that here in a minute um, whenever I get done showing you all what I got this is the best find I think I love 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 this set it's my favorite color it's actually slightly darker more olivey in person and it's showing up here but it's so beautiful and I, I thought this teapot was $16 but it was actually one dollar for the teapot and it's pretty good size um, I got six cups those were 50 cents each I don't know what that little bowl is but I have a plan for it so I got it too 50 cents the sugar and the cream were each 50 cents and then this doesn't really go with the tea set but it is the same color and everything so Salt and pepper were 50 cents each too. So loving this and I've got an upcoming video where I'm gonna use this. I think it's gonna be kind of fun. Uh, I, do, I usually don't buy Christmas um, this early, but this was a dollar and they're kind of a small size. I don't know if you can tell like based on my hand how small it is, but I have an idea for these. Um, if you remember the small trio of trees I used last year, uh, all the ornaments were too big for that. So these are a nice size. We're going to try them out. And if they don't work, I can always redonate them. And then these are, okay, these are a little strange. But I liked them. They're these wooden butterflies. They look like they're hand painted and they're stretched. There's an ant crawling on it. Do you see that? Ah! Okay, I got to kill this ant. That's from the car because I parked in the grass. Anyway. So, I picked up this butterfly. It's hand painted and it's stretched over this wooden like framework. And it was very, very boho to me. And I thought, you know, this is kind of the theme I'm going to be going for in our new primary bedroom that we're redoing. And then they had another one. So, I got it too. 
they are missing their antenna but I think I can just pop those off and it won't really bother me but yeah these look handmade they're kind of cool they were 50 cents each so I'm sorry if you hear traffic it is um, school time and we're kind of close to a school here lots of traffic so and then the last thing I got was this harvest basket there's Axel over there like what's going on um, it's a nice small one the one I used to have was way too big and I got rid of it and I've been looking for another one I actually didn't realize until I checked out that this one was spray painted gold but that's okay I'll still use it anyway so anyway guys that's my thrift haul I'm pretty excited about it usually don't find this many things so let me get these over there and I'll show you my idea and we'll see if it's gonna work okay I've added the wreath and I like it um, these grasses are a little bit tall but that's okay I think it looks pretty good my idea was gonna be to take these and kind of stagger them over here but I don't know because this has candles in it and I don't want to go too candle heavy so I think I'm going to go get a pumpkin from outside and set it next to the candles and that might complete it or I could get a flat pumpkin and set the candles on top of that I may do that let me let me go steal a couple of pumpkins from the porch okay here's what I changed it to I switched out that more yellow one for a white one put a white one there but there is some burgundy in this wreath and I think I have a couple of stems from Hobby Lobby. Let me go grab those and maybe put those under the pumpkins and see if it'll bring that together. These are the picks I was talking about and you might remember that I had several more of these that I returned and I decided not to return these because I couldn't find the receipt for these two. I bought them at a different Hobby Lobby and the receipt's actually in the back. So but I'm going to keep them because see, oops, that's really too close. Hang on. You can see it kind of brings some of that burgundy down. So I think I'm going to get these arranged and show you what that looks like. And I also have these, so I might do a little something with these too. So if you hear chewing, little Axel brought a big old stick in, so he's having fun. Okay, so I just sort of uh, stuck them under the pumpkins. And there's that side. Let me back up and show you. Is it too matchy-matchy? I'm not really sure. I kind of like it. It's very simple. And like I said, this is really the only space in this room I'm going to do uh, this fall. Because I did so much on the porches. I'm just craving a little simplicity inside. I do have the other little dried ones. I think I might add some of those to the wreath. Because that color will go really nicely with these grasses here. So let me try that. Put a couple here. But as you can see, they really don't stick out. So I think that's just going to be kind of a waste. So I'm going to see if I can find a little vase and put them in a little vase because they're so pretty. I don't know what they are, but they smell so good. <laughs> Reminds me of childhood somehow. I guess some dried florals maybe my grandma used. But anyway, let me go find a vase and pop them in there and show you the final look. Okay guys, I think I'm done. This is what I decided on. Um, I, I did have the small pumpkin on the left where that copper is. I kind of like the florals together. So this is one option. And let me show you the other option. Okay, and here's the other look. I brought the florals over and moved that one pumpkin to the left. Anyway, I'm pretty happy with it. Actually, it's a little bit more than I was going to do, but I really like it. Uh, let me know what you guys think, which way I should do it. Should I put the florals together and the pumpkins together? Or should I leave it like this? Anyway, that's going to be it for today's video, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you really soon in the next one. Bye, guys.